U.S. Forest Service is a multifaceted agency that manages and protects 154 national forests and 20 grasslands in 43 states, as well as Puerto Rico. The U.S. Forest Service's mission is to sustain the health, diversity, and productivity of the nation's forests and grasslands to meet the needs of present and future generations. The U.S. Forest Service has a team of wildland firefighters as well as the world's largest forestry research organization. The U.S. Forest Service provides technical as well as financial help to state and local government agencies, businesses, and private landowners. They also work government to government with tribes to help protect and manage non-federal forests and associated range and watershed lands. The U.S. Service is able to do these things through working with public and private agencies that help them plant trees, improve trails, educate the public, and improve conditions in wildland and urban interfaces and rural, rural areas. The U.S. Forest Service also promotes forest management and biodiversity conservation internationally. Colville National Forest has many volunteer opportunities so the public can get more involved with the U.S. Forest Service. Volunteers can participate in more challenging work and have educational experiences. Almost 300 people volunteer each year specifically at Colville National Forest. The most interesting thing that we saw while at Colville National Forest was the natural water spring spigot. The natural water spring spigot has a constant flow for hikers and others to take water from. This spigot is very useful while on a hike during a hot summer day. The water was very cold. Colville National Forest has several facilities that are available to the public. Some include fishing, hunting, hiking trails, and picnicking. There's also cabin rentals and many other scenic viewing opportunities. Carlville National Forest has over 1.1 million acres of forest for visitors to use. The Carlville National Forest serves people who want to participate in bicycling, camping, climbing, fishing, hiking, horse riding, hunting, nature viewing, HOV riding, picnicking, boating, scuba diving, swimming, tubing, water skiing, downhill skiing, snowboarding, cross country skiing, snowshoeing, and many more activities. Just in one national forest, there are so many different opportunities for people of all ages. Unfortunately, due to different time constraints amongst group members, we had to visit Colville National Forest at different times. However, some group members had the opportunity to experience the forest in a winter environment, while the other group members experienced a spring environment. The group members who went during the winter went to the ski resort 49 degrees north that is located in Colville National Forest. The group summited Chuila Peak with some other outdoor recreation classmates. The other group members who went during the spring experienced an off-roading drive up to a trailhead. During the hike, they were able to explore the forest and even spent some time by the lake. <laughs> 